Hello friends, welcome back to the Tetra Head on Chemistry classes. So guys, uh, you can see on the slide, uh, there is a question, calculate the equivalent weight of the sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate. Actually, this question was asked by one of my subscriber, right? So I'm going to solve this particular problem and uh, you have to be very, very careful while uh, calculating the equivalent weight of your, uh, whether you're oxidizing agent or your reducing agent, right? See this sodium thiosulfate which is also known as the hypo right if you make uh, the solution of this then the solution is known as the hypo solution that means the other name of this sodium thiosulfate is the hypo and this hypo is basically a reducing agent please remember it is a reducing agent so n factor in that case which is very very important to calculate the equivalent weight uh, that uh, n factor would be change in the oxidation state during the redox reaction only this thing you need to know. So, but if you go for like uh, uh, basicity, acidity, right, and the valency of the cation, then uh, this uh, method will not work. So, how we can solve? First of all, you should know the uh, chemical formula for this. So, your sodium thiosulfate is Na2S2O3, right? If it is anhydrous, then it would be in this particular form. If it is uh, hydrated, then definitely the five water molecule would also be there. This is the formula you should know and uh, the molecular weight you can uh, check through your textbook. The molecular weight of this sodium thiosulfate is 248.18 and I am giving you a very simple trick here, right? See all those species which have uh, the n factor of the 1 will always have the same, then such species will have the same molecular weight and same equivalent weight and this uh, sodium thiosulfate is having actually the n factor of 1. That's why its molecular weight is its equivalent weight. But how to solve the question? What I can do? I can write the reaction for this. I am having Na2S2O3. I am not including your uh, water molecule here because they are not participating in, the re in, in this particular reaction. And say you are having the iodine. Or this iodine, you may directly uh, make the solution of the iodine or you can liberate that iodine from uh, certain salt. You have performed experiment in which you uh, want to determine uh, the available chlorine, percentage of the available chlorine in the bleaching powder, then you must have come across uh, this particular reaction in which your iodine, this I2 is liberated from the potassium iodide and that liberated iodine is titrated against the hypo solution or your sodium thiosulfate solution. So, what is the reaction actually, right? Reaction is Na2S4O6 and 2 of the sodium iodide will remove from here. Now, if you want to know the oxidation state of the sulfur, right? You know the sulfur is having the variable oxidation state. So, sulfur will definitely change, his, uh, change its uh, oxidation state. Uh, this uh, form to this particular form. So, what is the oxidation state of the sulfur? You can see. Uh, this is the method of calculating. Sodium is 1. It is present 2 times, so twice. Plus, you are calculating for the sulfur. You can put 2 of S and then plus minus 2 is charge on the oxygen and 3. That is equals to 0. And if you solve this, then S would come out plus 2. So, that means sulfur here is in plus 2 oxidation state. Okay. Similarly, you can calculate here. 1 is the charge on the sodium times 2 it is present. You are calculating for the sulfur and the 4 such sulfur molecules are there. You will write the 4 S for this and then minus 2 is the charge on the oxygen times 6 is, it is present here. And you will put 0 equals to because these are the neutral species. And if you calculate the charge on the sulfur in that case, it would come 2.5. That means the oxidation state is 2.5 here and this is the very important thing you know the oxidation state can have the fractional value and so what is the change in the oxidation state so to uh, know the exact change in the oxidation state what you can do you have you need to balance this particular reaction as you can see here two of the sodiums in this particular form and uh, the two of the sodium in this sodium iodide that means total four sodiums are there to balance this particular reaction you need to multiply that sodium thiosulfate part with the two so what is the change in the oxidation state so delta oxidation state i am writing this is my way of writing 2.5 minus 2 
that would come around 0.5. But you know, you have multiplied this sodium thiosulfate by 2. So, you will multiply that 0 0.5, 0 0.5 by 2. That will give you 1.0 and this is the N factor in that case. See, uh, sulfur actually is uh, undergoing oxidation. So, here oxidation is happening and you know in any, re in any redox reaction, the species which gets oxidized during the reaction act as the reducing agent. And you can see here iodine in this elemental state, zero oxidation state. Here, it is in I negative form. So, here is actually the decrease in the oxidation state. So, this is actually reduction. So, reduction of iodine is taking place by the uh, with the help of your sodium thiosulfate. So, it is acting as a reducing agent. And if you notice that uh, when you titrate your uh, uh, starch iodo complex uh, uh, black color solution, then it uh, this sodium thiosulfate quickly reduces its color. Why? Because it changes this uh, I2 to NaI. So, here you can see only change in oxidation state is 1. So, what would be the equivalent weight? Equivalent weight of Na2S2O3, Na2S2O3, because it is pentahydrate, so you will write 5 of H2O, this is 3, okay. That is equals to its molecular weight and its molecular weight is 248.18. N factor is the change in the oxidation state during the redox reaction, which is 1. So, this will give you 248.18. If you measure this, is, uh, this uh, weight in the gram, then the unit would be gram equivalent weight. Nothing else, otherwise it's, a, it's simply a number. I hope you, uh, now you uh, are much aware how to solve such kind of the problem, especially for the oxidizing or the reducing agents. And in my earlier lecture, I also told you that uh, oxidizing agent, for oxidizing and the reducing agents, this oxidation state is not, sorry, this equivalent weight is not a fixed number. It may change according to the reacting conditions. I hope you may uh, have seen my earlier lecture where I have explained you how to calculate the equivalent weight of potassium permanganate in acidic medium, in alkaline medium or in neutral medium. If you haven't seen that particular lecture, I am giving the li uh, link in the description box. I hope you understood the things now. So, that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you very much.